Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonnet Podcast, and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. In this series, we look at every star player available in Blood Bowl 2020. And we've got some cool reoccurring stars here. Now, the Lustrian Super League has recently had another team release, the Amazons. And in that, there were a few more star players. And now, we've got a pair more that have arrived in the Almanac. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at Dribble and Drool, the star player skink combo. Okay, so Drawl and Dribble are a combination star player team. So they are two star players that have to be taken together. So that does take up your full star player allowance, but they are pretty cheap and they are actually quite a lot of fun. There's a there's a couple of angles here um, about why you'd want to take them. And I, I guess we'll kind of talk about that when we talk about which teams can take them. Uh, we'll start off with Dribble here. So uh, the pair of star players come at 190k. So that's 190k for two star players and they're both skinks they've got standard skink stats uh, movement eight strength two ash three plus passing four plus armor eight plus very much just normal skinks from a stat line point of view they've got some fun skills though so dribble has got dirty player plus one uh, dodge standard loner four plus standard stunty standard so he is dirty player plus one and sneaky git and he's got side stack in fact that sidestep dodge ability is so good. So we've got a movement 8 player here. Uh, strength 2 is kind of rubbish. Stunty, edge 3 plus at movement 8 is a phenomenally useful stat line. But this guy arrives with that sneaky git dirty player combination. Um, this is a great little secret weapon, basically, for all of the Lustrian Super League teams. If you could take him on his own, he would be genuinely worth considering. You've got that movement 8 stunty bit, so that's going to help every team. Well, I say every team. There's only three Lustrian Super League teams, right? So he's going to help add a bit of speed to a team that doesn't normally have skinks. And a team that does normally have skinks, that potentially doesn't want muscle or anything like that, can actually take this guy. That dirty player plus one sneaky git combination means he's going to be able to run around and just put the boot in wherever you need him to. And 190k means that actually 190k for two star players is really good for league. Because you get to have extra reserves. Okay, so um, <laughs> if you think about it, a skink mercenary. What's that? Like 80k? So for the price of two skink mercenaries and a little bit more, you get some sidestep versions of them. So that's Dribble. So Dribble is dirty player, sneaky git, sidestep. That's his angle. He's the one who runs around and puts the boot in. And Drool is the one who runs around and stabs. Same stat line, 8, 2, 3 plus, 4 plus, 8 plus. Um, and we've got Dodge, Loner 4 plus, sidestep, stab, and stunty. So this guy's got sidestep as well. So they've both got dodge step, which is very frustrating <laughs> it's a great combination of skills now the fact that they're strength two and armor eight plus means that they are definitely vulnerable but dodge and sidestep is going to be really useful for getting them where they need to be going and this guy having stab no secret weapon just straight up stab now this has been this has been a really good season for stab because there's a lot of low armor high edge stuff going on there's a ton of bash don't get me wrong but who does everybody hate? Okay, Snotlings are really popular. Hackplem's really popular. Underworld's really popular. Elves are not really that popular, but High Elves are performing well. And you get that kind of like, right, okay, you've got Hackplem, you've got a War Dancer. They cannot use Block or Dodge against Stab. This is literally just walk up to Hackplem, 8 plus, he's down. And at least stunned. Which is a, which is a really effective countermeasure. Normally with hack flame, you go up, you pow him down, you still have that chance to roll armor. You have to roll that chance to pow first. With Drool, you just wander up and stab a dude. And he's a star player, so if he gets punched back in the face, it doesn't really matter. And what the special ability allows him to do is if the target player of a foul or stab performed by Drool or Dribble is marked by both Drool and Dribble, you get plus one to the injury roll. So it's not massively overpowered, but... If you are going to be putting the boot in with Dirty Player Plus One, this is going to give you that extra bit of injury roll. And I actually think if you can bring in Dribble, mark a guy, run in with Drool, stab a guy, it's straight up armor. And then a 7 plus KO is really good. Now, don't get me wrong, that is swingy, it can go wrong, and you're left with nothing. 
but it's a really cool combination of players and it's very different the cool thing here for me is that for 190k you get two bodies which is going to be really useful when you are down that amount. And if you're building a tournament roster, it's not going to give you something game winning. But in League, it's going to give you two reserve bodies, no secret weapon, no nonsense like that. But what you are going to get is just two extra linemen who happen to be pretty fast. Let's have a quick look at the teams that can take Drawl and Dribble. Okay, so Lizardmen, Amazons and Slan are the only teams that can actually take these star players. The star players only play for the Lustrian Super League and there's only three teams. Lizardman, when would you want to take Drawl and Dribble for the Lizardman team? Um, okay, there's a couple of fluffy things you can do if you're going to go for kind of a stunty build where you don't take any sauruses, you just take a Croxagor, and then you can add Drawl and Dribble in there to be kind of like your star players for the team. That dodge step is going to be useful on all of the teams. That uh, ability to put the boot in or stab is going to be useful to all the teams as well. Now, I don't think you're going to be looking to take them on an Amazon uh, on an Amazon team on a Lizardman team too often. You've already got that speed, you've already got that stunty, and for you know if you're down 200k, there might be other things that might benefit your team more. Given how a standard Lizardman build kind of runs in a league, you're probably going to be down maybe rerolls. You know, there's a couple of other things you might want to take instead of extra skinks, but this is where they come in extra handy. Now for Amazons and Lislan. There's no movement 8 stunty pieces on either of those rosters. Slan have got some nice edge 2 plus movement 7 pieces, which is great. And the Amazons have got the hit and run blitzers, who are really catches at movement 7. That's a bit of speed too. But for less than 200k, you can take two edge 3 plus catchers who are movement 8. Now you've got the dirty player stab angle, which is going to be useful and, and adds an extra layer for sure. But actually, I think this is great. I think Drawl and Dribble give you catchers for a Slan and Amazon team. They give you movement 8 stunty dodge pieces for Amazons and Slan, and they don't have access to them already. If this was a single star player, either one of them, if you could take one or the other at 100k, I think you'd see them regularly as that kind of extra bit of fast scoring threat. Because they're 190k for two, it is a bit limiting when it comes to cost, but I do think they'll be a great piece of toolkit for leagues. They're going to give you that extra element of, right, three plus, catch the ball. Okay, now they don't have catch and they do have loan of four plus, which means that they are definitely not an automatic thing. But if they can start with the ball, if you can get them the ball, that three plus plus dodge stunty with sidestep, with movement eight, is going to make them really good kind of fallback plans as well. I love them for that. And on top of that, you get the ability to just go up there and stab a guy, put the boot in, and if you combo them, plus one to injury roll, I think that's going to make them really useful for all of these teams. Okay, so miniatures, if you want to run them on the pitch. Uh, Games Workshop, don't have the models out for these guys yet. They're not even spoiled in the Almanac like some of the other star players are. So we don't know when we're going to see the models and we don't know what the models are going to look like. But our buddy Brute Fun does have you sorted. So if you want to pick up a pair of very beautifully sculpted Skink star players, then Brute Fun has got the STLs for these available on his page on my mini factory. I think they're two, maybe three dollars each. If you've got the big pack of Lizardman team anyway, you've probably got these STLs already. And I'm sure you can find a couple of cheap prints for these on Etsy too. They're great little models. You've got the stab guy with a knife, not secret weapon, which I love. And you've got the uh, dirty player guy who's actually just carrying around a venomous snake, which I think is pretty cool, actually. The whole point is he's going around putting the boot in. Actually, he's going around and using his snake to bite things on the ground, which is pretty fluffy. They're cool models. You're going to be able to pick them up on Etsy or print them yourself, which means they are very accessible and it's brute fun. So, you know, they're good. Okay, so Drawl and Dribble, 190k gives you two movement eight stunty dodge sidestep pieces. That's going to be really effective. One of them can stamp on things, one of them can stab things, and if you put them together, you get plus one on the injury roll for fouling or stabbing, which I think is going to be really effective sometimes. The whole idea is that actually they can mop up or they can strike. And quite frankly, I think the fact that they're skinks is really going to be useful. Skinks are great. If a, any team that could take skinks as a positional would take skinks. Movement 8, dodge stunty is so effective. And I know they've got loan of 4+, plus, which means hand off the ball is going to be risky. But a 3+, plus, you're good to go. And then they are just absolutely flying to the end zone. Really cool as a reserve scoring threat for Amazons and Slan. 
really fluffy to build an all skink build for your Lizardman team. So Drawl and Drivel, it's great to have them back. Always useful to have more luster in Super League stars. And I think these guys are going to be an awful lot of fun on the pitch. They're not game breaking. They're just game adding. And more Blood Bowl is more better. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy st stabbing things. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.